Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Today, I'm going to do a quick mod spotlight on a mod that I think has been flying under the radar a little bit uh, because it was posted on the 22nd of October, but not many people seem to be playing it very much. 462 current subscribers, which I think for what it provides for Rome Remastered is quite low. Uh, so what I want to do here is talk about this fantastic mod for Rome Remastered, Wars of the Late Republic, tell you why it is definitely a must try. Definitely as as much as I'd say Total Conquest or Imperium Serectum, because it does some really, really, really nice things for Rome Remastered. Uh, so this is what we're going to do today. Very quick spotlight for you. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, give it a like, you know, drop any thoughts or questions about the mod or, or Rome Remastered in general in the comment section below and subscribe for more Total War content just like this. So let's get into it. Wars of the Late Republic, as you can see here with this map, changes start positions and the start date to 60 BC. Now at this time period, we have the Roman Republic about to go to war with the Parthian Empire in the east we've got julius caesar invading the arverni the gaulish faction here uh in the northeast of the republic as well we've got the germanic factions um the uh thracians here we've got numidians we've got e egypt now more hellenic um scythians the british all these factions still in the game and they're all a lot bigger and a lot more powerful than they would be in vanilla which is very cool i think a lot of you know mods for rome right now uh, rome remastered that is um, like Total Conquest, like Imperium Serectum, they try and keep to kind of a uh, vanilla feel in terms of, you know, you start with a faction, it's very early days, you only have a few settlements or one even, and you have lots of regions around you, lots of different avenues of expansion, lots of new cultures, units, unit variation, gameplay mechanics, and, and it's all, you know, fantastically done. Don't get me wrong, but what this mod does so well is depict a completely new time period in the Roman Empire's history. And it does it really, really nicely with lots of other changes as well. So let's get into that. Part of these changes are big. Others are not so big. Uh, they they do. There's a range, you know, from uh, fixing various things and amending various little minor tweaks here and there to major changes that make a big difference to gameplay. So first and foremost, uh, the the game that well, the mod uses a lot of other mods to enhance certain things. So we've got additional Senate seats, increased mission time and reduced penalties that has to do with the kind of like essentially missions you get and the kind of political internal sphere that you can uh, influence here. We got permanent watchtowers at the uh, beginning of your campaign across your empire, which is very cool. I really like that. I really like being able to see the entire map in terms of, of, of your within your territory. And having those watchtowers there is very cool. Trade values have been adjusted. Um, no campaign boundary lines have been. So uh, borders of your factions have been removed, essentially, which I think looks a lot better. Uh, unit officers and standard bearers have been added into most units. A lot more standard bearers. I think given that it's about four or five standard bearers per unit, it seems like a bit much. Um, but I think quite cool, definitely. Uh, more recruitable generals, more walking people and cities, better merchant income. All these fantastic other mods for Rome Remastered has been ported into this one, which is good to see. You don't need to, you know, if you're thinking about having these kinds of mods, you can you can already uh, rest assured that they're already in there. And then a few other good, good little bits here and there as well. So added many custom Greek units and the Egyptian faction has been converted to their kind of Greek culture. Uh, Hellenic Greek culture um, gives the barbarians the ability to upgrade the lar two large city and build all tier four buildings. I quite like this, really, because um, generally the barbarian factions can seem quite underpowered compared to the others. So that's really, really nice to see. Added lots of new units to the barbarian, Greek, Eastern and Carthaginian culture groups. This is an absolute must. I mean, with the especially with the new patch to be able to have new units is so important for mods for Rome Remastered right now. So it's really nice to see that happening as well. And then obviously we've got the campaign map, which uses the expanded Mundus Magnus uh, mod, which is very nice to see. It's a beautiful map, guys. I really, really like it. It definitely enhances Rome Remastered graphics from a campaign point of view. And you'll see that in a second. We're going to go into the game. Rome has been merged into a, a single faction, uh, but Rome is controlled by the Senate. So that's something you're probably going to take for immersion you are the Roman Republic or, or you could leave it. I mean, that's totally up to you, but I'd probably rather have Rome as my capital there. 40% plus more movement points for all unit types. Uh, this is to help the AI defend their lands better. Now, <clears throat> I have to say, I think this is a little bit over the top. I think 40% is 
a big, big increase. You know, I think uh, 20%, 25% is probably a bit more realistic. Um, but you might disagree. You might enjoy that in the mod. So I'd, I'd suggest you go in there and check it out. I think it's a bit much. Uh, so hopefully we get that toned down a little bit. And then this is another cool one as well. So when barbarian factions lose their settlements, get it, they, they get into a horde state and start, start migrating, uh, which is very cool. I think this was a, definitely a must in Rome Remastered. It's, it's, it's something that was definitely missing compared to things like Rome 2 as well. Um, and then, yeah, obviously the rest of these fixes and additions are all quite specific to unit and um battle and campaign rebalancing you know so things like the romans can build all roman temples um lots of other factions can build other types of buildings as well so uh they can build you know tier five military economy buildings they can build bath houses and paved roads and highways ports have been adjusted to have additional trade fleets uh you know lots of all the uh, other kind of like building effects as well Units um, have been rebalanced, stat rebalancing across the board to make battles more tactical. So as you, you can you can tell, basically, a lot of work has gone into making the campaign a bit more immersive and engaging. Um, and I guess kind of balanced across the board, no matter what faction you're playing, but also from a unit perspective and making battles more interesting as well. Um, so lots of animation changes as well, ported over from other mods. Um, cataphracts and cavalry have changed animations, new units, new reskinned units as well. Infantry unit size has been normalized, which is kind of cool. Um, Eastern cavalry has been set to 140. Um, I guess that makes sense because they're quite, quite powerful given their Eastern battle movement speed has been reduced to 20 by 25% except on paved surfaces. So that's quite cool as well. I mean, it's all, all of this is trying to make it a bit more realistic and tactical, which is always nice to see. Um, obviously this being a mod in progress, there will be some crash issues or bug issues here and there, but don't pay attention to that. It's all being worked on. The main modder, um, Nick one assassin has been doing a really nice job of, of patching and fixing things, um, every week. So we can expect more to come, especially hopefully in the next few months. Um, but getting into the mod here, uh, just to show you some of these fixes and changes, you can tell, you know, this is the Mundus Magnus campaign map here colors are very very nice i really like it the water um the the trees the terrain i've got reshade on as well but even without reshade it's it's very nice and you can adjust things like saturation and contrast as well um so it's, it's a very nice looking map but apart from that you know we've got unique characters here we've got marcus petraeus here and gadir we've got um i think this is mark mark antony here marcus antonius here uh by massilia uh, just just next to the borders with goal. We've got Julius Caesar over here, your faction leader. We've got Publius Licinius Crassus, all very historical characters, which is just really cool to see at the start of a Rome remastered campaign. Marcus Cato here in Carthage as well. And then I think at the east, we've got another character, another big army here. Let's look at this another Marcus Licinius Crassus. So maybe that'll change, but basically it's, it's all about, you know, it's, it's a nice mix of historical realism, uh, for this time period, um, an expanded, an expanded campaign map because Mundus Magnus doesn't just enhance the graphics, but it, it, it actually expands the map out East. Um, and I believe South as well, either South or North. Um, and it just, it just, it's a very interesting starting position for all these factions. You know, you can start as Rome and start invading Gaul here, uh, which, which are powerful. You know, you're not going to just go up against settlements that are, uh, o that only have minor garrisons and a few armies lingering, lingering around. It's, it's not like that. You know, you're up against big factions, big empires that have a real chance of putting a dent at your chances of expansion. The Parthians out here have massive territories. Um, so for you to come up against them, for you to balance your economy, economy, public order and all that and go up against these factions is going to be a super interesting, interesting campaign. Um, so, yeah, I mean, aside from that, you know, we've got the building effects we've talked about. We've got new units and and and, you know, the brilliant campaign map. And and that's essentially it, guys. I just wanted to do a very quick mod spotlight for you to show you a mod that I think is kind of underrated underappreciated right now in the uh steam workshop for rome remastered there's a lot going on that's really good for it i mean next to imperium serectum and total conquest don't compare it to those because they're those are like those are massive teams they're doing so much work 
to make the most out of the last patch for Rome Remastered. This is essentially my take on what could be uh, a what what could be potentially a future fan absolutely brilliant uh, mod uh, that makes use of a new starting date that I think a lot of people will enjoy. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, Wars of the Gods is available on the Steam Workshop. I've added a link in the uh, video description below. I highly recommend you go check it out because it's very cool. It does a very nice job of rebalancing campaign. Battles are a lot more tactical. Units look fantastic and are a lot more varied. The generals for me are just a really, really nice touch. The fact that I can play with Julius Caesar in Rome Remastered is such a fun thing to do. And with this starting date to be able to kind of enact roman history or take another faction and upset this history is just such a cool thing to be able to do um so yeah that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below i'm happy to help out with any thoughts or or questions that you might have and subscribe to the channel for more total war content gameplay and news just like this thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time